as i have explained every part of my code so you know what the type definitions or uh, schemas are what the resolvers are how we can implement the jwt authentication and what is the start standalone server i have already explained uh, what this context folder does and how the resolvers and schemas work so let's test the application so it is uh, connected to mongodb and a uh, server is running at localhost 3000 let's jump into the code sandbox that is my apollo server sandbox and test some of my apis so firstly i need to create a new user i need to pass something here some email with first name and last name if i click on uh, create new user it will create a new user for me and store all the information and return a new token that is my jwt token to me if i want to check my login route i need to pass this email and password so this is my email and this is my password when i click on login you can see it is successfully login and also return me a new token so I need to copy this token and I can uh, perform any action in it. Like I can create a new recipe. I click on create a recipe. I need to first pass the token. If I click on uh, create recipe without passing the token, it will uh, throw an error that user is not authorized. I need to add a new header. That is my authorization and paste my token here. I need to pass the name and description of my new recipe like I am giving it a recipe and recipe description when I click on create recipe you can see the new recipe is created I can also create a new recipe and get my ID When I click on new recipe, it will create a new recipe and also return me the ID. I need to copy this ID and click on uh, get single recipe. I need to paste this uh, recipe here. So this is the recipe ID that I am requesting from server. I need to pass the authentication token in the authorization header and click on get single recipe. So it will return me the recipe ID, name, description and number of thumbs up and thumbs down. I can get any number of fields like if I need only the name of recipe and the ID of recipe then I don't need to create a new endpoint for these two fields I just use this endpoint to get only the ID and name and if I need a thumbs up also I can use this endpoint to click on recipe and it will give me thumbs up if I want to increment my thumbs up and thumbs down I need to click on increment thumbs up first of all i need to pass the recipe id that i whose uh, thumbs up i need to increment so this is the recipe id and i also need to pass the updated jwt token let's click on uh, increment thumbs up so uh, the status is true it means that the thumbs up are successfully incremented Let's click on uh, the get single recipe. You can see the thumbs up uh, is incremented to one. I can click as many times as I want. I click on th increment thumbs up several times. And when I click on the get single recipe, you can see the increment thumbs up is uh, incremented to seven. Similarly, all these uh, endpoints are working. Let me show you some other endpoint. For example, if I need to delete this recipe, I need to copy the recipe ID, pass it here. Secondly, I need to copy the authorization token and pass it in authorization header. When I click on a delete recipe, the status is true. It means the recipe is successfully deleted. Now when I click on the uh, the single recipe you can see it is uh, it is giving the error that recipe with this ID does not exist and also the status code is 400 which means not found.
if you want to study any new concept of apollo server you can uh, go to the apollo graphql.com website and click on the document section the updated version of uh, this uh, apollo server is v4 it is also giving the v2 and v3 which are old ones but v4 is the updated version of apollo server you can study all uh, about like uh, unions uh, schema bases error handling subscription resolvers how you can handle cores how can you can handle authorization and many other concepts so that's it from the graphql and uh, tutorial hope you like it thank you very much